Welcome back. As COVID-19 case numbers rise, they rise and they continue to rise. Health officials say Ontario could potentially top 6,000 cases per day by mid-December. That sobering projection coming as the province has now seen three straight days of record infections. Toronto leading the case count once again as the city prepares to join Peel Region in the red zone on Saturday. And all of this unfolding as the Ford government is pushed onto the defensive over the color-coded COVID framework. There is a lot to break down here. So we're joined now by Dr. Colin Furness, infection control epidemiologist and assistant professor with the Faculty of Information at the University of Toronto. Good morning to you. Good morning. We were chatting just a bit over break. And uh, these numbers, I think, the projected, the models, caught a lot of people off guard, including yourself. They did. I, I know what the trajectory has been and what it will be, but this is at least a month before I thought that was going to happen. And that's quite alarming, frankly. So let's talk about some of those numbers. Again, you know, could be around 6,500 within a month uh, on this trajectory. I think the message is clear in that we need to do something different. No question. And you may remember Mr. Ford and Dr. Williams only a few days ago were saying we're opening restaurants. They called it harm reduction. They said it's important to do this. Um, they've not been looking at the numbers. I mean, I was shaking my head when they said that, but but the, the, the juxtaposition of what they were saying and, and what we saw yesterday is, is shocking. So uh, there was a story that was out yesterday in that uh, there were, were recommendations to the government that we need to change something. And then that didn't happen. And, and then obviously, as, as we mentioned, the premier on a bit of the defensive there. Is it too late to turn back? I don't think so. The color coded system was a good idea in principle, but the devil's in the details and the thresholds that they set were against scientific advice. I, I personally feel like the public was really been misled by Dr. Williams statement and by Mr. Ford's statement about where about how this was devised. I looked at it and I thought there's no way that experts signed off on this. I knew that the numbers didn't make sense at all. It looked reckless. It looked dangerous. And of course, we're seeing um, some of the consequences of taking that kind of attitude, not relying on the science. It's, it's quite Quite concerning. When we look at where the infections are coming from, the community spread, it seems like it, it, it's from a variety of areas. Uh, Devo Brown, you might have heard him heading into break. We're looking at Diwali uh, this weekend, and that's where typically you'd see a lot of family gatherings and celebrations. Sadly, that's where we're seeing a lot of infections as well, are these sorts of gatherings. How bad can it be if we do see, you know, we saw the bump over Thanksgiving, we saw the bump over Halloween. Do you anticipate a bump again? We're seeing the even bigger bump from Thanksgiving. I think that's a big part of what's driving this. It's always an unknown what people are going to do despite advice that they're given. So Diwali is a big holiday. It is for many. It is obviously concerning, no question. And it's uh, it's painful to say, you know, here's your cultural tradition. Don't do it this year. That, that's a pretty horrible thing to have to say to people. And yet the safety situation is grave. So for you, uh, if you were an advisor and, and to, to the province and you said, uh, and you were asked, what do we need to do to get this under control, what would you say? Well, I would say that we need to well, we, we need to go back in time and have closed things like restaurants and bars and gyms earlier. Um, I, I feel acutely the pain of small businesses and people's mental health, no question. But we know how COVID spreads now. You know, in March and April, we were fining people for sitting on park benches, which sounds pretty crazy now. Today, we know very much exactly how COVID spreads. We have COVID's number, and it's got crowds of people together sharing airspace with poor ventilation and no masks. And that defines restaurants and bars and gyms. That's what put us in this predicament. So we really need to lock that down. And we also need to ramp up testing, surveillance testing. That's something that the province could do. It's an alternative to doing lockdowns. Okay, Dr. Colin Furness, you're going to stick around for us and take some calls and comments from our viewers. And that's coming up in about 15 minutes time. Thank you for that. So we'll rejoin you then.